This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at 4D Net from Google Research. So 4D Net effectively combines 3D LIDAR point clouds in time with RGB images also streamed in time as video, learning the connections between different sensors and their feature representations to do object detection. What is the use case over here? Say in autonomous vehicles and robots, Okay, you have cameras, you have LIDAR, right? LIDAR is a uh, sensor which uses light pulses to reliably measure the 3D coordinates of objects in a scene. But it is also sparse and has limited range. Okay, similarly, you have cameras, images from onboard camera, which is a dense input. It is incredibly useful for semantic understanding such as detecting and segmenting objects. With high resolution cameras can be very effective at detecting objects far away but are less accurate in measuring the distance. Okay, So our real world is actually you can think of it as in four dimensions. Okay, You have the 3D world and as you move through or navigate say when you are walking or say when you are driving a vehicle uh, it is actually a 4D visual input. right? You have the time aspect as well as you have the 3D world aspect. Okay, so how can you actually do an alignment of 3D, basically the LIDAR uh, point clouds which comes out of the LIDAR sensor and the image which comes from the onboard camera. Okay, so what they are claiming is that this is the first time they are trying to combine. There are only few research algorithms which uses both of these in combination, especially when taken in time as a temporally ordered sequence of data. The major challenges are computational efficiency and pairing the information from one sen sensor to other adds further complexity since there is no direct correspondence between LIDAR points and onboard camera RGB image inputs. They are different data sources. So in this particular paper which was published at ICCV 2021 which is 4D net for learned multimodal alignment, they present a neural network which can process 4D data called 4D net. Okay, so this is the first attempt to effectively combine both types of sensors. One is your 3D LIDAR point clouds and onboard camera RGB images when both are in time. So they what they have introduced over here is a dynamic connection learning method which incorporates 4D information from a scene by performing connection learning across both these feature representation. Okay, and what they are saying is that it is better able to use motion cues and dense image information to detect distance objects while maintaining computational efficiency. Okay, so that is the claim over here. So what they are saying is that uh, how do you actually combine the two sensing modalities which are from different domains and the features necessarily do not match. One is a sparse LIDAR input, the 3D space and the other one is the 2D projections of a scene from a camera. right? The exact correspondence between the respective features is unknown. Um, so we seek to learn the connections between these two sensor and their feature representation. So what they have used is that they consider neural re network representation where each of the feature layers can be combined with other potential layers from other sensor inputs as shown below. Okay, So you have uh, neural network layers for say the 3D LIDAR, you have neural network layers for your image over here. So how do you combine these layers so that you can have uh, some kind of information uh, representing a certain object in both these domains. Okay. So for that they used a light neural ar architecture search to learn the connections between both types of sensor inputs and their feature representation to obtain the most accurate 3D box detection. Okay. So what they see uh, say over here is that uh, distant objects will appear smaller in the images and the most valuable features for detecting them will be in the earlier layers of the network. Okay. Similarly, LIDAR can actually detect objects at highly variable distances. So how do you combine these two? So what they are saying is that based on this observation, we modify the connections to be dynamic and select among features from all layers using self-attention mechanisms. They apply a learnable linear layer which is able to apply attention weighing to all the other layer weights and learn the best combination for the task at hand. So it is some kind of combination of features of you know uh, which is coming from uh, both the domains over here in different uh, network layers and then applying some kind of self-attention mechanism to detect the 3D boxes. So they evaluated these results 
against state of art approaches on the Waymo open data set benchmark. Uh, for which previous models only leverage 3D point clouds in time or a combination of a single point cloud and a camera image data. But what they are saying is that 4D net uses both sensor inputs efficiently processing 32 point clouds in time and 16 RGB frames within 164 milliseconds and it performs well compared to other methods. What they are saying is the next best approach is less, less efficient and accurate, uh, you know, less efficient and less accurate because it uses neural network computation takes 300 milliseconds and few uses fewer sensors. So what they're saying is that by combining these two sensors, they are able to improve upon the results on the Waymo open data set for this object detection. Okay. And what they're saying is that it is able to detect far away objects uh, because it's able to take advantage of the both the high resolution provided by the RGB, which can accurately detect objects in image plane and accurate depth at that point cloud data provides okay so it can make use of the depth information from the lidar and the uh, high resolution provided by the cameras to get better results okay so they also did some other kind of uh, ablation studies where they said is that uh, we find substantial improvements in detection accuracy if at least one of the sensor inputs is streamed in time if both the sensor inputs are streamed in time that shows the largest improvement in the performance Okay, that is what is you just have point cloud, you have point cloud by time, then you have point cloud and RGB, then you have point cloud RGB plus time, point cloud plus time RGB, both in time. Okay, so they say this is better. They also did further experiments where they wanted to see if they can introduce more streams over here, uh, you know, more input streams. So here they show that, you know, you have a stream of high resolution image video, a medium resolution image and a video stream in time. Okay. Combined with the point cloud and they say that this gives better accuracy. Okay. So what is the summary over here? Uh, the summary is that they have presented an architecture called 4D net, which can combine your LIDAR data, which is 3D point clouds in time and RGB camera images in time for better 3D object detection in autonomous driving. Okay. So this uh, would be interesting to people who are working in say object detection in 3D data for autonomous driving. Um, um, so this paper also uh, is present over here. Okay. I hope you find this uh, video useful. I will put the links to this blog as well as the paper in the description of the video. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in a new video. Happy learning.